my super moms, let's check out my kitchen organization. This first drawer is where I keep all of my silverware and um, cooking utensils. As you can see, everything is pretty much just thrown in the drawer. There's no organization whatsoever. Um, there's the little slots there for the knives, spoons, and forks, and it's a complete mess. Now it looks like this. Um, I basically changed out the entire drawer. The next one is my medicine drawer, and it is also the same. Everything is just thrown in there. You have to dig through the drawer to find what you're looking for, and it's just a complete mess. I have recipe books stacked up in there also, and it's just it's it's just a mess. And now it looks like this and honestly I think this is now my favorite drawer because it is so neat. The next drawer is the drawer that I call my junk drawer because everything that doesn't really have a place just gets thrown in here and it's mostly you know the aluminum foil, ziplock bags, straws, um, sauce packs and bag clips like just anything just thrown in here. There's plastic forks and spoons from restaurants when they put those in the bags. That's all just thrown in here. It's just a big complete mess. And now it looks like this. So basically my silverware drawer has been switched over to this one. So let's look at how we got it all done. off by dumping everything out of the drawer and wiping it clean and once we got the drawer clean then we went on and started organizing the containers in the places that we wanted them to go So far, I have the knives, the spoons, and a place for the forks. They were all in a dishwasher at the time. I have a container for um, the baby spoons, and we just sorted through the plastic forks and spoons that are open out of the packs in there, too. But eventually, we just threw those out. They, we decided they were not needed. So we went to the junk drawer and started cleaning it out, and it was just filled with just mess. A toothpick bottle burst open so then there's toothpicks everywhere so trying to pick up toothpicks is very very annoying so we got all those little tiny pieces picked out of the drawer and got it all cleaned up junk drawer we realized that the space in the drawer was more um, suitable for our silverware so we took the containers from the silverware drawer and switched them over to this drawer and it made things a whole lot easier and plus it made a lot more sense since the 
uh, cups are in the cabinets right above it and the plates are in the cabinets on the other side of the microwave. So it just made sense that the plates, cups, and silverware were all on the same side of the kitchen. And so then we made this drawer the, I guess, um, I could call it my random drawer instead of the junk drawer because it's not junky anymore. So we did the Ziploc bags, the aluminum foil, the straws, and the bag clips. This just makes it a whole lot easier to get to everything. If you need a Ziploc bag, it's easy to get to. If you need a bag clip, it's easy to find. You'll have to dig through all of that mess just to find a clip to close something. So it's a whole lot easier and so much neater. medicine drawer. Once again another drawer that is a complete mess and everything just thrown in there so we cleared everything out and to be honest most of that stuff had already been expired so we really got to throw away most of it. So that made the organization a whole lot easier and that's why it took up so much space in there because a lot of the stuff was just old and it was just sitting in there taking up space. Goodness for organization. And some cough syrup spilled out. But that is no problem to clean. Thank goodness for all purpose cleaner. Once the drawer was cleaned out, we then started to get everything organized. This particular drawer, we tried out the, um, the mats that I had. So I cut out um, two sheets to fit in the drawer. And in my previous video where I was showing what all I bought for my kitchen organization, I thought I had plenty of the, um, <laughs> the mats. But then I realized I did not have enough. So, I basically only used the mats for this drawer and the kitchen table, which you will see in just a moment. Then I placed the containers that I wanted to use. I had to see how they would fit and found my perfect little pattern for the containers. And we started off with the baby section. So we have all the medicine for um, AJ and all of his syringes for his medicine. So that's the first two containers. So it's my vitamins and my folic acid. And just to put out a suggestion out there, I absolutely love Nature's Plus prenatal vitamins. They have absolutely everything in there and it has a ton of the vitamins in there. Plus you get doses of fruits and vegetables in the pills also. I love that. So the next um, container next to the prenatals um, are basically um, meds for like antacids and um, for gas relief, those type things. Wow. 
the container next to the baby mitts is basically the pain relievers, the um, Aleve, Tylenol, things like that. And then next I have the cold medicine, so the Alka-Seltzers and the um, Vicks, things like that. So as we went through, we were basically just trying to figure out where we want to place everything. cotton balls and a bottle of alcohol because I actually have those in the bathrooms so this would be a good place to have that so that way all the medical stuff is all in the same place. Alright so then we went to the fridge. The main thing that needed to be done in the fridge was just basically clean it out and um, label everything because as you see I don't have too much in the refrigerator so we went through cleaned all of the shelves got all the little messes up and now this is what it looks like it doesn't look that much different but it is cleaner and the shelves are all labeled right now and so I cleaned it off and once I cleaned it off you really see how messy the tablecloth is and I am getting rid of this thing I hate tablecloth it's so nasty so now I use the mats as um, placemats on my table um, of course I'm going to flatten them out some more so that way they're completely flat but I have a vase that I'm gonna put some flowers in and once I get a six seated table, it's really going to look nice. Also, on my refrigerator, I keep um, basically the tasks that I need done each day um, posted up on the fridge. So I'm changing it from Sunday to Monday. So then everything that needs to be done on Monday is posted up on the fridge so that myself or anyone else that, you know, needs to you know then a helping hand can see what all needs to be done for the day and I also have listed there what um, needs to be done for the next day and this is my kitchen room so once I got everything organized put it in a frame and these are my towels one is for dishes clean dishes and the other is for hands clean hands all right, everyone, questions. And I actually have one question. What are some kitchen organization ideas that you use or want to try? So in other words, what are some real useful things that you use in your kitchen for organization? Inspiration. What really inspired me to do all of this is Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but a foolish plucketh it down with her hands. I want to be that wise woman that builds her home. 